In the AI world, one of the best things you can discover is an all-in-one AI tool, an AI resource that has it all underneath one roof. And that includes things like image to video generation, AI images, editing, image enhancing, character creation, AI avatars, and more. It's incredible. Now we already know there may be a few AI all around tools out there, and some of you may already have your favorites. But when I find a hidden gem I think you should know about, I definitely want to show you. And today, it's one of those times. Today, I'm talking about design.ai. Click the links in the description. And thanks to Design for sponsoring this video. So on their home page right here, you can see everything that they actually do. And there is a lot. And that's why I love these all-in-one design tools. So if I just hover over the tools up here, you can see in the drop-down filter, there are a ton of tools that you can use from AI photo filtering, AI image editors, AI art generations, portraits, etc. And as you continue to scroll, you can see some of these in action. And I must tell you, this actually does a very good job. A lot of these all-in-one tools may do one or two things pretty well, but what I've quickly discovered with design is that it actually does a lot of these very well. And the icing on the cake is that it makes it very easy to use. Now let's take a quick look at their dashboard. I love how this is all set up, making it easy to start any type of workflow. So here at the top of the page, you have all of these options right here. Click on any one of them to be directed to a specific workflow. So for an example, let's go back to game. And then you can see as I click on each topic at the very top, we have all of these workflows that appear right here. So since we're in game, let's go ahead and select one right off the bat. Let's go with sketch to art. And now it's going to take you to the workflow dashboard. It automatically defaults to this simple sketch. And then on the left hand side, you could see it automatically gives me the presets to get exactly what I was looking for. In this case, we're using pastel 3D. Now simply just select the generate. And now once you do look at this, look how awesome this looks. There's the original sketch. Now over here on the right hand side, I have all of these options. I can now choose from. It did a perfect job. So what I'm going to do is go through a few of these, the specific ones that I've been very impressed with. Now, the first feature I want to test out is going to be probably the most impressive one, and that's going to be their AI image to video tool. Now, look at this preview of what I was able to generate just a few minutes ago. This is going to be incredibly impressive. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is come over here into my mega prompts database. Up at the very top, you can see there are multiple tabs depending on what you need. The second tab will be AI art prompt. I add new prompts to it almost every single day, but the update I do want to share is that now, since anybody who has this database is grandfathered in with lifetime access, I am making this even better with these new build outs called interfaces. For the best prompts databases you'll ever find, click the links in the description. And you'll have access to everything. Okay, so here we are, and the first thing I want to try is going to be image to video. I have this image opened up right here. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and quickly delete this. Now, the next thing I'll do is over here on the left hand side, select pick an image. Now I'll just go ahead and click and drag that specific Captain America image that I just downloaded from that database. And now it appears over here on the left hand side. And I can go ahead and paste the actual prompt that I just copied. Okay, there it is. And now check this out. I have the potential to also add an end frame. We'll try that one next. But for now, we won't use an end frame. And then I could select my duration five or 10 seconds. Okay, now once you have it in there and ready to go, all you have to do is simply select a generate. Now, while that's thinking, let's go back to the database and then choose another image. And then that way we can then add an end frame. So let's go ahead and open this one up right here and go ahead and copy this prompt. Okay, here's the image. Now I'll just go ahead and download this image. This is going to be our starting frame. Okay, so now let's open up this one right here. Okay, now he's going to be floating in space. So it's a similar image. I'll download this one. We're going to have two images somewhat similar. And then let's see if the start frame and end frame can match up, generating a even nicer image to video. Okay, it's uploaded. It's over here on the left-hand side. And now what I did is come over here to end frame and now toggle this to on. Now I'll click right here to pick an image. Okay, and now I'm going to click and drag the end frame image. And then there it is just like that. Same sort of image. Astronaut went from being on the ground in the water to now floating in space. Okay, now here is my prompt up here at the very top. All I actually did was right here, this very last sentence, I added that as a transition. We'll stick to five seconds and now select generate. 
Okay, now, so it looks like the first one is done. Let's check it out over here on the right hand side. I'll click it. Look at that. That is incredible how good of a job this did. This really does do a good job with the image to video. In fact, I think it's probably going to be its number one feature in my opinion. Okay, now our second image to video is done. And I have to tell you, this might be one of the best I've seen where I've utilized both a start frame and an end frame. This did an incredible job. Here it is over here on the right hand side. I'll select this play button and then right off the bat, look at this right away. That is amazing. Look at what a fascinating job that this did. Perfect. Okay, the transition from the water into outer space. Okay, another one I like is let's go ahead and then select interior up here at the very top. Let's see if we can get our new style to look like this. There is the original image and in the top left hand corner, that's going to be my quick style. We have options that we could choose from right here. We can choose from all of designs options. However, if I select this plus button, I can create my own style from a specific image. And once I do, I did it with this image right here. Look at this beautiful job where I'm going to get these consistent looking new styles based off of my image. We'll head over here into product. I like to use this to create my product backgrounds. So if I select AI background, it takes me to this one right here. Let's remove this image and let's look for a specific product. How about these sunglasses right here? Now this tool is going to do one of two things very well. Now you can see the image of these sunglasses. It already contains a background, but look at this. The minute I come over here to design and now I upload this image, it automatically removes the background and look how good of a job it did right here. Now all we have to do is now over here on the left hand side, we can simply select all of these different options to add a completely new background. If I select blue, okay, let's just go with that, see what happens there. Let's see if we can get it to look good on this black style. Now the first one is done. Look at the blue ones over here. As I hover over each one, the shadow is automatically added to the sunglasses. Okay, now it looks like the other one is done. Wow, I am very impressed with how all these turned out. This is going to be phenomenal. If I like it, double click click to place on the canvas. Okay, there we go. And now look at that. Just like that, it is now on the canvas. And so the same design process could be done by locating the specific AI tool up here in the dashboard. Now remember, as I click over each one, now I have all of these workflow options to choose from. But some of my favorites include enhancing. This is going to be great for upscaling, 2D to 3D, generating from text, applying styles, and then even expanding the scene. Some other favorites I have are going to be face swap. And then something else that's pretty unique are going to be this print on demand. So we have idea to design, removing the background, and then this personalized design would be a very good one to use where you can turn personal images into one of a kind designs and you could add them to like a t-shirt. Okay, look at this. Really good job, actually. The hat did a great job with my logo. And then my favorite option is that it actually gave me a lot more hair. So nothing wrong with that. Let's open up this one right here of Luna. This is going to be my AI avatar. Click and drag it right there. And then there she is. Now, GTA comic is still there. Let's go ahead and generate this. Okay, now the one with Luna is done. Let's hover over these images. Look at that. That is amazing. Definitely GTA style. So let's quickly just take a look at the pricing. We have a pretty good free account right here. That's going to be a pretty nice free account right there. 32 is not too bad. Then we can head over to beginner. Okay. If I select annual, the price is going to get substantially cheaper. So the monthly plan is only $8.99 for beginner. The annual plan becomes seven and the same thing for creator. Not too bad at all, specifically for everything that you're going to get. So there you have it. Another hidden gem called design, design.ai. There's a link in my description if you want to try them out and I highly recommend you do. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. Thank you so much for watching.